What's up you guys? Godzilla Fan Freaks coming at you today with a requested video. And this video was requested by my buddy Raymond. He just wanted to know what I do as far as cleaning a collection and keeping a collection clean. Now, with mine in particular, I live in Arizona, so it gets very, very dusty. And I just cleaned my collection yesterday. So I clean I, I put a time on two weeks. I clean my collection every two weeks, and I usually make it on a Friday or a Saturday, depending on how much time I have available. And that seems to work out pretty well. So in about two weeks' time, there is a, not a thick layer of dust, but a good enough layer of dust on everything. Toward then, you know, I just, you know, start cleaning my shelves. And the way I do my cleaning every two weeks is I pretty much just take all my figures here off their shelves and everything like that and then I dust down the shelves with one of those microfiber cloths that you guys see in stores and stuff so I mean these are great for just getting the dust off of shelves and then I even sometimes take this to the figures at least on some figures that are easy to uh, you know get like Jet Jaguar he has very smooth points his skin's not all rough kinda the same with Titanosaurus uh, Space Godzilla's crystals you know sometimes all wiped down and stuff like that but uh, these microfiber cloths work great, and since I clean my collection every two weeks, it doesn't get as bad um, as some would think to where uh, I don't use any aerosol cans or vacuums or anything like that. I just simply just use my own breath and just blow off my figures with my own uh, breath. My own atomic breath! Ha <laughs> uh, Never mind, just kidding. Anyway, uh, that's what I do pretty much, Raymond, to clean my collection. And if any of you are out there were, you know, wondering what you could do, I mean, that's what you can do. You can go out, buy a microfiber cloth. You can wipe down your shelves and your figures with that. Some people do like to use uh, aerosol cans, you know, like the, aeros the little tiny aerosol cans that you can get for, like, your computer and stuff. And, uh, you know, some people do use vacuums and stuff. I don't want to use any, uh, I guess I could use aerosol cans, but I don't want to use anything like a vacuum. Just because then when you get into this smaller stuff, uh, sorry if it's a little dark. I do have my blinds open and as much light's coming in as possible. But, uh, as you guys know, SH Monster Arts, Revel Techs, not really the Bandai's necessarily. But, you know, just some of the guys that have smaller uh, in joints and, you know, parts that can come off and stuff easily. You wouldn't want the vacuum to suck up or blow something, you know, away, and then it would take you a while to find it. You know what I mean? Like, uh, what's a good example? Sorry, there's not much light, but those little tiny parts that come with the, um, Mazer Revel Tech, like those, you wouldn't want those to, like, get sucked up or blow off somewhere in your room and be lost forever just because how tiny they are. So, but for me, like I said, every two weeks, I just take everything off the shelves, and I do a microfiber cloth on the shelves, and on some of the figures, I do it as well. And that's pretty much it for what I do to keep my collection clean, you guys. Uh, it's fairly simple. Like I said, put yourself at a time limit, whether you want to do it once a week. Like me, I do it every two weeks, or, you know, if you want to do it once a month. Uh, just spread it out however you want to do it, and, um, you know, depending how big your collection is, my collection normally takes me about three hours, roughly, to clean, and um, as it continues to grow, that time limit is going to continue to grow to, like, four hours, five hours, who knows how many hours when I'm, like, 50. <laughs> but anyway, you guys, uh, that's a quick video there. Raymond, I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope that helps some of you other collectors out on how to keep your collections clean. And uh, that's all I got for uh, this video, you guys. We are Godzilla Fan Freaks. Like always, please comment, like, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next video review. Thank you for watching.